welcome to another broadcast of UHS Talk. I'm Caitlin Collins, and I'm joined by my co-anchor, Elizabeth Adams. Students interested in, interested in participating in fall sports for the 2016-2017 school year sports season can receive a free school physical at the high school on June 2nd, starting at 8 a.m. You must have a completed SIPI form return to the nurse by May 23rd. You can pick up one in the office. Auditions for the Cold Queen will be held Tuesday, May 17th during fourth period in the library. If you are interested, sign up. Parent-teacher conferences will be held on Friday, April 22nd. Students will be dismissed at 11.30 a.m. The Spring Dodgeball Tournament will be April 29th. Make sure that you are not tardy or absent so that you are eligible to attend. We had Yoko, we had Yoko and Samiko both come into the art classes and demonstrate how to make clay teapots. Here's a clip. If you have any questions, just let me know. Because I've been, this is going to be my third teapot of the day. So I may going to be just skipping here and there. So if you were like, maybe what just happened, just let me know. Okay, so first I'm going to need a clay sheet. Now, because we are using a porcelain clay, I would recommend to make it a little thicker, probably up to almost a quarter inch. Now, if this is your second or third teapot, then you can go thinner, probably an eighth inch. But if it's too thick, it's going to be a very stable teapot, hard to break. If it's too thin, then we have to do lots of touch up work. That's going to take an extra time away from your design part. So I would say, let's play safe and keep it thick. So first, there are plenty of mold to choose from, so that some of them are uh, kind of taller and some of them are flat. So you can pick one you like. I'm going to pick a smaller one. And uh, first, I'm going to cut off the bottom sheet here. And I want to give myself at least one inch margin around it. Again, if this is too big, I can cut it later easily. So it's better to make it big. The other side, I want to have the sheet big enough to cover the entire dome. So for that reason, almost good enough, but just in case, I'm gonna extend a little bit more. So desirably, three inches margin all the way along so that the, you can push the clay and uh, make it follow the three-dimensional form of the moon. I usually put the moon <coughs> up on something so I will have the access to the bottom. Try to put it on the center and if it doesn't work, it's okay. You can just jiggle it around too move it to the center part. So at this point, the clay is so soft. If you're lucky, you can just push it down to the dome shape. Sometimes you end up with a little extra here and there. So you have a few options. You can either cut it and make it overlap and leave it as a design or celebrate it so it looks more intentional. You can see more of her on her website, yokosinikovo.com. You can now select classes you would like to take for next year. You can schedule it on your course request sheet or you can do it online on CSIU. Course selection sheets are due Monday, April 25th. You can find information about post on our website, US UHSTalk.org if you need any details. Missed any announcements? You can find them at UASDRaiders.org. That's all for this week. Thank you for watching.